This is worth one mark and one mark only. Okay. How are you expected to do this? You're expected to say, okay, alpha, x, and h. And clearly all of these are the same patterns. It's exactly the same thing, right? So I'll just do it for one. Alpha, x, and h, where do they reside on this diagram? Answer, there's alpha, there's x, there's h. Should we put that in there? That's h, right? So they reside together in a right angled triangle. Right? So this is a question about right angle triangle trig. That's what they're looking for you to recognize. Okay? X, alpha, H. Be careful with this. What's the trig identity, sorry, the trig ratio that relates those three pieces of information together? Answer? Now, <laughs> the answer is tan or cot, but remember what I said about the difference between demonstrating understanding and like just writing something down which is correct but doesn't demonstrate understanding. If I say, do this, right, I can get a year eight student who has learned to manipulate like equations, right, that they can do that, and they can look at this and they can say, oh, okay, well, clearly, cod alpha is x on h. They know nothing about trigonometry. They just read the question and they can say, well, I, I, know, I know that if you do one thing to one side of an equation, you've got to do it to the other. So therefore, this is true. Do they know what cot alpha is? No, they've never even heard of tan alpha. They've probably never even heard of alpha. Okay? <laughs> but they can do that. My point is, this line demonstrates no understanding. Okay? You might be pushing it a little bit if you said this line and you added on, which is not necessary. But if you said in, what am I looking at? Oh, we've got names. Is the top named? The top's not named. That's not very helpful. If you named it three points. I was going to say no for White House, but anyway, okay. Um, in triangle, A O P. Okay, this would be a little bit better. Did anyone do this? Did, did you get it? Did you get it? Oh, okay, well, we'll find out for you later, I suppose. Um, if you've done this, that might be a little bit better. But still, still, I, I think you get this. You essentially get this for free, right? If it's given to you in the question, you're not going to get anything for that. And division, division and multiplication is not what was being tested here. Okay? So, therefore, <laughs> what were you really expected to do? In the same triangle, you should have said tan alpha is opposite on adjacent, h over x. So then, you take the reciprocal, and then you've got, what did I get? Then you've got your result. So, so, I hope I have um, convinced you of why there's a difference. Like, you're like, cot or tan, what's the difference? Answer, you, you receive this for free. So there is a difference in demonstration of understanding. Right? So totally back that decision if you can get that mark. Sorry, but I think it's legitimate. Right? Let's move into part two and part three, which are both... Um, Demonstrate questions, show, right? What's the result we want for part two? It's this. Okay. Now, when you look at this, remembering that you've come from this part over here, right? This looks to me suspiciously like Pythagoras, doesn't it? You a square root, you've got two squares under the square root. So this is not that complicated. Again, you can sort of backtrack a little bit. Like, where would this have come from? This two clearly actually belongs on this side, doesn't it? 2AC. Where is 2AC on this diagram? AB is 2AC, isn't it? Right there. And can I just say, you see that it slaps you in the face as soon as you draw the diagram. Right? When you don't draw it, you stare and you stare and you're like, are those meant to be equal? Like, oh wow, those lines are really long. Who knows what those mean? And you don't see it. Okay? You draw it and it's just, there it is. Okay? So all you would say is in triangle, which triangle is it? Which one are we using? AOB, perfect, right? In AOB, you invoke Pythagoras and you would say, the hypotenuse is y squared, right? 
is equal to x squared plus a b squared. Happy with that? Yeah. Um, you can then take your y squared over the other side. Um, what's this thing? This is 2ac, all squared. Yep. Okay. So, so now you're almost there, aren't you? Okay. We'll just rearrange a little bit. Um, we'll swap this over the other side. We will take the square root. If you really want to be fancy, at this point you would say because ac is greater than zero, that's why you don't need to take the negative case, and then you divide. Okay. So not not complicated. Once you see the direction you have to go in. Okay. Now, when you look at part three. It looks, it looks intimidating because they've gone back to all of the tans and cots and all that kind of thing. But all they're doing, like, it's all interchangeable. Because the x's and y's and the cots, they're all speaking the same language. You just need to rephrase things. Okay? So now, where shall I do this? I really want my diagram still on the board. Okay, I'll try and fit them over here. Okay, um, again... Again, you see that square root on the bottom because you're trying to um, you're trying to prove this. Three. What's that? Cot squared. It's a gamma. It's a gamma. Okay. Now, stay with me. You see a square root again, and you see squares under the square root. What are you thinking? You're thinking Pythagoras, again, okay? It's, it's not hard, right? But clearly you're going to be in a different triangle. Which triangle do you think would be most useful to us? I'm thinking, remember I did part one, and then I did part two, and then I did part three. Part two is leaning you towards a particular triangle. Namely, let's get another color. A, O, C. See, there you go. It's got AC in it, it's got X, it's got Z, and there is that sneaky right angle, right? Because you're going, uh, at, from this point, that's south, and that's east. So they're at 90 degrees, they're perpendicular. See, it's hard to see, right? In that triangle, in triangle AOC, invoke Pythagoras, let's say AC squared, uh, oops, plus X squared, equals z squared, right? I've talked before, by the way, about writing your z's in a way that's helpful to you. You don't have to, but you better write your z's properly. AC, I already know what that is, right? So what's that going to be? y squared minus x squared on 4? Yeah, right? Which, by the way, that 4 is where this 3 comes from. You see where that's going? Plus x squared <laughs> equals z squared. What should I do next? I've got a fraction there. I want to get rid of that. Okay, so I'm going to go y squared minus x squared plus... X. I've multiplied by 4. And that's a 4z squared. Okay, so now you can see where, where this comes from, right? So I've got y squared plus 3x squared. Do I need to keep going? From this point, there's just a straight substitution of all of these pieces. Right? The h's all disappear because they're common between all of them, so you just divide through by h squared. Okay? And then you pretty much just have to shuffle things around. Do you want me to do it? Or are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, okay. Um, yes? You root it to make it easier for you because Where? then you can get rid of the uh, four z squared. So you get a two. Oh, you mean z. Take, the, take the square root here? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Okay, so please, and it's true because you know we already have the this squared plus three of this squared, so I am ready to take the square root. It's a good point. So I've got this. And that's going to be 2z. And again, I can say it because... Because z is positive. Because it's a, it's a length. Okay, it's a side. Okay. And now I'll just I'll put in all of my... Uh, yeah, the h's have come out. Well, anyway, all right, let's do it. Um, here, here are x, y, and z. x, y, and z, up here. So I've got... <clears throat> all right. Uh, h squared cot squared beta h squared cot squared alpha uh, three of them sorry watch out for that what do you got over here two h cot gamma so far so good yeah 
These h squareds are going to come out from underneath the square root and become an h on the outside. So that's um, la, 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 like so. Okay. Uh, I've got my h here. Now, again, just to be pedantic, because you guys should have an eye for detail, I'm going to divide through by h in a second. They're just going to disappear. But it's not disappearing because I'm divide I can. Like, why is it disappearing? Why can I divide through by h? Because h is not zero. It can't be zero. It's a lighthouse, right? <laughs> so, because you can't just divide through by numbers, right? You will do solutions if and when h is zero. But h can't be zero. So I've got this. Um, I might as well at the same time divide through by 2, right? So I've got cot out gamma here, and the reason why is because h is not 0. And I'm there, right? I just have to take the reciprocal. I'll put everything on the right side as well. Uh, sorry, that's 10. 10, we've taken the reciprocal, so you've got gamma 2 over all of this stuff. Oops, I wrote it around the wrong way, but 